Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. US equities ended mostly lower in somewhat directionless Wednesday trading. The S&P 500 fell, notching a sixth consecutive daily loss and hitting the lowest close since November 2020, as investors looked ahead to a key consumer report that will inform the pace of the Fed Reserve's rate hikes going forward. Tonight, we will get more important inflation data with the release of the Consumer Price Index. The Dow Jones Industrial Average shared 0.1 per cent, the S&P 500 lost 0.3 per cent, and the Nasdaq inched down by 0.1 per cent. UK developments continue to dominate the headlines as the Bank of England battled a renewed sell-off in UK government bonds on Wednesday after its vow to end its emergency guilt-buying program unsettled markets already unnerved by the fiscal plans of Prime Minister Liz Truss. Investors have signalled underlying concerns about the health of UK public finances, with the government under increasing pressure to show how it will get back to a sustainable fiscal trajectory. Across the sectors, utilities have seen profit-taking as investors look to switch out of defensive industries, which have outperformed, to higher alpha sectors as investors are looking to take a more aggressive stance. In the tech sector, Bloomberg has reported Intel is planning thousands of job cuts to reduce costs amid a slowdown in the PC market. Looking towards the reporting season, it will be interesting to see whether cost-cutting becomes a consistent theme for tech stocks. In company news, shares of Moderna surged 8.3% after the drug maker announced it will partner with Merck to jointly develop and sell a cancer vaccine. And China-based Beijing stock catapulted 23% higher Wednesday after the company's leukaemia treatment beat out a blockbuster drug from Johnson & Johnson in tests. And a slowdown in China's construction sector is having a direct correlation with the iron ore price. China's usual boom period for infrastructure construction and steel-related demand during the months of September and October has so far offered no reprieve for investors in the iron ore market, as the Chinese economy continues to contend with a severe housing slump and COVID-related lockdowns. On the currency front, one Australian dollar is flat compared to the US dollar yesterday, buying 62.75 US cents. On the commodities front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Gold shed 0.3%, silver fell 2.4%, copper lost 1% and oil dropped 2.6%. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.3% fall. I'm Lauren Hayes. Have a great day.